You might be wondering, how do I cope with the time? How do I get everything done? Because I have several times got the question, how do you get, have the time to actually do everything that you do? Today, I'm going to show you that, how I arrange my time and also show you a little bit about me building the Powerwall batteries from start to the beginning. A short introduction to it. And if you want to see more about that, check out the videos on top here. So basically the second stage here is the batteries. Oh hey! Hey there! Yeah hey! So what's up? So what are you doing? Yeah I'm cracking open the batteries now so basically as you can see it's just brute force to get them open and I kind of make sure to split them into different like this the plastic away let me grab the fire so the second stage as you can see is basically removing the batteries from the pack because you need to start collecting the batteries first so this is kind of the first step you are doing so a flush cut plier removing the excess kind of Basically what I'm doing here is that I'm crimping the lugs uh, onto the bus bar and the bus bar is connected or created with basically two and a half square millimeter cable and wire from household. So bare copper wire and to shave them off I'm using this tool here that I have shown before. So let's crimp this one for now. And of course, a proper crimping tool is needed if you're going to crimp open. And this tool does the job very, very good. Ah, okay, cool. So basically, it's preparing the bus wire wires for the cells, the cells that we saw being collected before. So let's take a look at how we assemble the packs instead. So here we are at the last station before the batteries actually get to be used. So let's talk a little bit about the build. So mate, can you please explain a little bit what you're doing to the camera? Yeah sure, I can explain a little bit. So basically we have the battery packs here. And I'm running a 14A's 80P system. Where it's 80 cells in each pack in parallel and 14 of those in series. This is to create a 48 volt system. I arranged the packs together here with the bus bar wires that you saw earlier. On those, I will be soldering or spot welding this 35 AWG, roughly 0.2 mm tin fuse wire that blows with 5 amps. They will be soldered on 2 dates or spot welding. For safety and balancing, I'm using the BMS from Baytion, so I'm be mounting these long mounts on the side here as well. And that's basically it. It's then time to actually mount them into the system and running them. Cool, mate. So basically, it's the first step of the building the battery bank where he uses the batrium system to mount and doing the fuse wires and everything. So that's that part. So let's get one in the shelf and I think we should wrap this video up a little bit and I hope you enjoyed it so far. Ah, oh, hey mate. Hey mate. Uh, could you perhaps show the camera a little bit about what's going on here? Sure. So basically this is the shelf where I have the laptop self itself. As you can see I have one row attached here and I'm currently working on the second one to be attached as well and it should be ready in a couple of hours I hope so might be a video about that. Cool. So how much is it in the shelf? Um, it basically I have four shelves here and it should be able to hold somewhere around 40 kilowatt hours depending on the cell quality. Um, I'm guessing 30 kilowatt hour usable energy, something like that. Um, so this is the secondary battery bank and it's controlled by the Batrium software and it will be a big shunt trip here or shunt breaker for this as well. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this little bit of a round tour 
around my garage where I'm actually creating and making the power wall itself. As you can see, when I'm doing things, I'm doing several things at the same time. And that's the key to make it happen. So if you want to know more about how you can do this as I do it, don't forget to hit the big subscribe button down below and follow my journey.